Next question, match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1, neutrophils. Neutrophils are the most abundant WBCs and they are 60 to 65 percent of the total WBCs. So, A matches with 2. Basophils, these are the least abundant WBCs and they are around 0.5 to 1 percent of the total WBCs. So, B matches with 1. Monocytes, they are around 6 to 8 percent of the total WBC, so C matches with fourth and eosinophils are around 2 to 3 percent of the WBC, so D matches with 3. Let us see this combination is given in which option? A with 2, B with 1, C with fourth and D with 3. This is given in option number 3, so correct answer is option 3. Proceeding to the next question, identify the substances having peptide bond and glycosidic bond respectively in their structure. Papsin. Papsin is a protein and in protein peptide bond is present. You know that amino acids are linked by peptide bonds. Trypsin. Trypsin is also a protein and in trypsin peptide bonds are present, not the glycosidic bond. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Second option, insulin. Insulin is a protein and in insulin peptide bonds are present. In neulin is a polysaccharide and in a polysaccharide monosaccharide units are linked by the glycosidic bond. So, this is correct. C. Cellulose. Cellulose is a polysaccharide and in polysaccharide glycosidic bonds are present not the peptide bond. So, this cannot be a correct answer and actin is a protein and in actin peptide bonds are present. So, this is incorrect option. D. Inulin. In inulin glycosidic bonds are present. So, this cannot be a correct answer. So, correct answer to this question is option number 2, insulin and neulin. Moving to the next question, question states that match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1, Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells provide nourishment to the germ cells. B, interstitial cells. They secrete androgens. So, A matches with 2 and B matches with 1. If this is a cross section of a seminiferous tubule, this is another seminiferous tubule. Between the seminiferous tubule, Leydig cells or interstitial cells are present. And these Leydig cells in presence of ICSH that is LH hormone releases androgens. Sertoli cells they are present within the seminiferous tubule and they provide nourishment to the germ cells. Placenta structural and functional unit between the fetus and maternal body. So, C matches with 3. Zona pellucida. Zona pellucida is a cellular layer formed by the secondary oocyte. It is made up of glycoproteins and it is a primary egg membrane. D matches with 4. Let us see this combination is given in which option? A with 2, B with 1, C with 3 and D with 4, this is given in option number 4. So, correct answer to this question is option 4. Proceeding to the next question, question states that match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1, cochlea. Cochlea is the coiled part of inner ear as you can see in the diagram. This is cochlea which is the coiled part of inner ear. Scala vestibuli, it ends at oval window. So, A matches with 2 and B matches with 1 organ of corti. It is located on basilar membrane. So, C matches with 4th and in organ of corti auditory receptors that is hair cells are present. Eustachian tube. Eustachian tube connects middle ear cavity with the nasopharynx and equalizes pressure on either side of tympanum. So, D matches with 3. Let us see this combination is given in which option? A with 2, B with 1, C with 4 and D with 3. This is given in option number 3. So, correct answer to this question is option 3. Proceeding to the next question. 
question states that which one of the following is the most abundant protein in whole of the biosphere and the options given are myosin, rubisco, starch and hemoglobin. The most abundant protein in the whole biosphere is rubisco and most abundant protein in the animal world is collagen. Myosin protein is present in the muscles in the thick filaments and starch is a polysaccharide it is homopolymer of alpha glucose hemoglobin is a transport protein it transports oxygen and carbon dioxide so correct answer to this question is option number two rubisco proceeding to the next question 